Hi, I'm Heather DeTillo, um, the Boulder Tableau User Group uh, co-leader, and I'm here with Chris Cox um, from Boulder Insight, another co-leader. We're both with Boulder Insight, um, and we have a session every Boulder Tableau User Group that we have hold that's an infamous part of our meetings called Stump the Chump. Chris is the chump and we're gonna to try to stump him. So in today's meeting, we had a question um, that came towards the end of our meeting and we did not get to answer it. So we've decided that we're gonna go ahead and answer it live now for you and we'll be able to post that on our community page and um, send this out to the masses so you can answer this as well. Um, so Chris, um, the question that we had was all about sorting. Um, and so sorting is one of those things in Tableau um, that can definitely um, be a pain point for people. And so the question that came about was, well, what if my end user wants to sort it alphabetically? Or what if my end user wants to use dollars and do dollars ascending or descending? How can I go about doing that? So I'm going to hand this over to you to answer live. Sure. Um, so, so there's a couple different ways to do it. So depending on, uh, we didn't get to ask any questions. I don't know exactly what you're trying, trying to do, but I can tell you a couple things that I typically do for the for the sorting stuff so one you know any any actually graph that you have like this one here you're going to get a little sort icon at the bottom so if it's on, so if it's only like on, on a single measure i can go you know sending descending and then the uh, third click will be alphabetical um that's 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 typically the way that works um i i personally don't like having the axis down here so a lot of times i i, I hide my axis because i feel like i have the numbers already there um, so then you lose, so, so then you lose that, that little click sort button, but a quick um, hack to get around that is if you edit the axis and go to the tick marks and just turn those off, that's going to make it a little bit cleaner to start with. And then I like to go to my, my uh, axis title and just call it uh, click to sort. Okay. So now we have, it's written down there, click to sort. And then I may even make that a little smaller. So that way it's always there and we can do that. So that's, that's, that's kind of the quick and quick, quick and dirty way to be able to sort multiple ways. Um, but the only thing I don't like about this is if I wanted, if I wanted all of my graphs on the dashboard to do that, now I've got to go touch them all. And so I'd rather have one function that uh, sorted everything the way, way I want it. So we're, we're going to try to try to actually build that really, really quick here. So I'm just going to go into the sheet. Uh, how I would think about it is I would build, um, I, I would start start with a sort of parameter. So I'll create a new parameter. I'm um, gonna we'll call it sort, not sport, sort. And we want it to be a string and we'll do a list and we'll do ascending and we'll do um, descending and we'll do alphabetical. Okay, and then just for ease and the, the, the coding part, I'm going to change these to, actually, you know what? Let me, me, me wipe that out for two, two seconds here. I'm going to give this as one, two, and three, and I want to display them as ASC, ascending, sending, and this will help just from a coding perspective. I don't have to worry about, um, uh, you know, trying to do calculations on strings. Sending and yeah, okay. All right, so that gets you um, the sort function built. So now we want to use that in, in a way. So I'm going to create a create a calculation that uses that. So in all these graphs, we're using profit as our as our measure, and then we have different 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 dimensions um, going along our, um, our our rows. So I might say you know sort order. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I'm going to do a, um, if, let's just go ahead and comment this out so we know what we're doing. Sending. Um, sending. Alphabetical. Okay. So if sort equals one, then we do this. Else, if, if sort is equal to two, then we do this, and our else is we're going to do um, else. I already know the answer. Um, else is going to be equal to zero. Okay, 
So this is going to be what we do um, kind of in general. And, I, and I'll show you what I'm using the, using the, the, the zero for. So in so, so, so ascending order, um, all I really want to do is actually let's start, start with actually, um, let's just try this out. Let's just do profit. So some, some of profit is what we want to do. Okay. So let's start with that. And then this one, the same thing. So we're going to start with this. This should, there, missing identifier. Oh, it's no, oh, it's zero. There we go. Nope. Sort equal, oh, it's a string. Sorry, guys. Could have made that something else. So, all right, there we go. Okay, so we have the sort order function made. So let's just pull it into our view to see what we're, what we're doing. So I'm going to make this discrete and I'm going to drag it over here. Okay, so, and then I want to show our sort function. Okay, so if it's, so, so if it's ascending, right, I'm getting, it's just giving me all the numbers. So the first two are going to be the same. We're not going to do anything different. And then if it's not, it's going to be, and let's, uh, I'm going to take this sort off because it was, um, uh, oops, meant to clear sort. So clear the sort. All right, so if I change it to, to alphabetical, then this column is all going to be zero. So then it's going to automatically default to the, this one, which is which is actually alphabetical. So whatever order you put these in, okay. So now we so we've got so now we have the alphabetical one nailed because we don't have a sort on this one, and we do on the, this guy. So now we got to go back to to ascending and actually actually descending. So out of the box, so ascending is correct because these are these are negative, and going down to uh, to positive. So now we need to make this one work. So, 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 the, so the descending is not correct. I need it to go in the opposite order. So I actually need to change these numbers so they're going, going the opposite way. So um, I'm just kind of making this up as we go, but I think we should be able to, where's my sort function, here we go. So if I edit this, I believe if I just take sum of profit times, you know, negative one, that should flip things around for me. So now I basically turn my positive numbers negative and negative numbers positive. So now I've got ascending will sort the right way, descending will sort the right way, and, and, and alphabetical will do, will do its publicity. So all we have to do is add this column to each of our, um, um, each of our worksheets and then um, hide it so it's not sh showing up. Um, let me take care of this. I do not like having the uh, all the lines drive me crazy. So that's our sort order done. So now we do the same thing for segment. We've already got it built. Add it in. Maybe add it in. Make it discrete. Make sure there's no sort on segment, and we hide it. Oops. I'm really sure filter the show header. Dang it. Okay. So that one's done. And I'll copy formatting. Put it on the lines. Sub subcategory. Same thing. Put in the street. Um, here we want to clear the sort. It's already had one on that one. Okay, so that's done. We will unhide shutter. <laughs> and, oops. Dang it. Going too fast. Copy formatting. That copy formatting trick is actually another ninja move there. A lot of people don't know about that. So I love that you um, did that once and you're able to replicate that and, and show that. So for yeah. those of you watching, pretty cool ninja move here happening live before your eyes. Live ninja moves. Okay, please formatting. So yeah, it doesn't work for everything like you see on this one. I've got some other lines here. So sometimes that copy formatting doesn't get everything. Like that one is still in there. And it's in that one too. Let's see if I can, let's see if it will hold it. Let's go to all of them. So paste formatting. Yeah, I did get rid of them. Okay. 
our goal is to make sure that you learn how to become your own ninjas. So we want to teach you so you can do this on your own. So pretty cool so stuff. One, yeah. So this one doesn't have the sort order yet. So let's throw it in here. Same thing, discrete, drag to the front. And Chris, do you want to talk about why you have to change that to discrete? Um, it's something that I often have to teach um, in my classes. So um, why do you have to do that? Well, I mean, this, so, so this is not the view you want. So you don't want, you, you, you're, you're not looking for, for this, this whole continuous measure. What you're looking for is just to use, use the number that that formula generates to kind of rank rank your different 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 uh, different dimensions so so the dimension i'm looking for is like a category so i have to change this to to do discrete so i'm just getting that that number so this number when i put it in the front is going to give me the correct order so 18 million is lower than 122 million which is lower than than that right so that's that's the reason why it, it wouldn't wouldn't actually work it was continuous Right, and when it is continuous, what Tableau is trying to do, for those of you watching, is it thinks that you have a measure on columns and a measure on rows. It thinks you're trying to do a scatter plot. Um, and so by making it discrete, Chris can now move that because you can never put a green pill before a blue pill. They always come after. So now that it's discrete, it buckets your data essentially for you and allows you to pick up that bucket and move it over. So pretty cool other ninja move. You, you, you do so many cool things. I just want to make sure to point out some of those things to people while they're watching. Cool. So now we have that done. So now we just on our dashboard, we go to our parameters and we show our sort parameter and we'll stick it, we'll stick it up here on top somewhere. Maybe, maybe there. It looks horrible. And now that we have this, we can get rid of these, um, these headers because we don't really need those, need those anymore. But, um, a little bit anal just collect things to be clean so now this one function sh should work for all so now it's going to sort everything for you i didn't hide in this one forgot to hide this guy all right we want it to be clean uh and that's pretty much it so now we can do ascending for all d d descending for all or arch alphabetical for all i love it that's it this is a question we often get um from our clients and from our students when we're teaching um, and obviously from our Tableau user group um, users and members. Um, so we are so thrilled that you could take the time and do that with us today, Chris. Thanks okay. for being our chump in hand and uh, hopefully you all are gonna get some ninja moves yourself by watching this video. So thanks and uh, take care, have a great day. Bye.